All right, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the show, guys. Listen, big day in the birdhouse, right? Big day, always. Always a big day in the birdhouse. You know, I got all four kids in the car with me again. Um, sometimes you can barely tell because the twins are so quiet. Peaceful. Oh, and you can't see them. And you can't see them. That's another good point, Bella. Um, but they're here, and it takes me a lot to get them in the car. I should film that one day and um, let that let that be the be the end of the show, let you see it a little bit. But you know, it's a lot. And I was I was thinking about going a lifetime today with the twins, right after I dropped the girls off, and it, it's just a lot. I got to get ready to do that, and I got a lot of paperwork to do too. So, and I want it. My goal is to get it done by the end of this weekend. So I have to do that. Um, we're also having some friends over tonight and it's Belle's birthday weekend. So imagine that I got a lot to do with a little bit of time. So we're gonna see how that all works out. I'm gonna call an audible and not take the twins to Lifetime this morning because I was debating on it. My wife was like, you should go. And I'm thinking to myself, yeah, I should. And now as I do it, I realize that it's just more more work for me to get not much done. And the uh, the twins had a big day yesterday, believe it or not. We didn't even plan it, but the cleaning lady was uh, at the house, so we um, you know we had the twins out all morning. We went to Target, uh, went to uh, somewhere else, I forgot the park, and came home. They were riding around, so they had a pretty big day, and it was unplanned. So today. Um, and it's going to be raining today, and I don't want to get caught in the rain when I'm leaving Lifetime with the twins. You know, um, taking them out, it's not one baby, guys. It's two. So you realize, whew, it's a lot to handle, juggle. Um, I, I like to be at home base sometimes. But uh, I got these two chickadees, and it's Bella's birthday, y'all. So subscribe. Do your subscribe thing. I love that. Oh, um, in five, four, three, two, one, and subscribe. Yeah, subscribe. And make sure you hit the notification bell. That's right. And if you don't, you ain't popping. Whoa, that's it. That sounds it. That's it, guys. Listen, listen, subscribe to the channel. Welcome to the channel, guys. We got Bella's birthday popping today. Wow, wow, what a birthday bonanza weekend, guys. Um, it's 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 gonna be pretty fun. She's got her birthday party at school today, and uh, her birthday's on Sunday. She's having another party, having a movie party. If you're watching, uh, leave in the comments below if you'll be there. And we're watching Mario Brothers. Oh, and it's gonna be Mario Brothers, yeah. guys. Listen, um, fun times, fun times in the birdhouse, fun times when it's Bella's birthday. Uh, Bella's birthday for us, as we were just talking about in the, um, um, we were, we were talking, me and my wife, me and Kat were talking about, um, Bella's birthday really being the kickoff to our year. Bella's birthday is like, uh, last. well, yeah, Bella's birthday is kind of last in the year when you think about it, because even though it's in April, Cat's birthday is in November. You would think Cat's birthday is last, but it's not. It's actually first. It kicks off the holiday season. It kicks off the birthday season because we got the twins right up in January. Me and Kayla right up in February a few days later. Not a few days, a few weeks later. And then Bella, two, two and a half months later is Bella. So Bella's kind of ending. But then what a great time to begin. See, Bella's, year, Bella's birthday is like the new year. So it's not only is it like an ending as it lasts, but it's the new year. So we look at Bella's birthday like like the new year. So she doesn't have to think of it like it's last. It's, it's, it's kind of first in a way. It depends on how you, it's all a matter of perspective, but Bella's birthday is in spring, so it's like the new beginning. Um, but it ends the birthday season, if you can imagine that. So stay tuned for the Bird Brand Birthday Bash, guys. Um, we will be doing that very, very soon. Um, well, or talking about it very, very soon. Hold on, I got a car, a uh, road situation here. These people. All right. Uh, we will be talking about the Bird Brand Birthday Bash very, very soon. Say that five times fast. All right, guys. Bird Brand Birthday Bash. Bird Brand Birthday Bash. Bird Brand Birthday Bash. Bird Brand Birthday Bash. What was that for? 
Anyway, doesn't matter. The point is, listen, that will be happening, guys. All of our birthdays are in a span. First of all, four of our birthdays are in a span of 19 days, okay? So start there. We can easily have a big birthday party. Cat's birthday knocks it off and Bella's birthday closes it down and we will be celebrating uh, all of us in one fell swoop, all right? Oh, look at that animal right there. What is that? What do you think that is? You see it? You gotta, you gotta pick your head up there. A little, little burrow. Oh, I see it. Is that like a groundhog or something? Or like a, um... Leave in the comments below, what's that little animal that burrows? A little, uh... It's like a groundhog. Yeah, I think that's like a groundhog. Um, cute little... Or a hedgehog. Hedgehog, all right, hedgehog. All right. Um... So we got Bella's birthday, guys. It is happening today, it's happening tomorrow, it's happening Sunday, We're kicking off the birthday season, kicking off the year. This is the time, when I say new year, anytime anything is new. First of all, everybody's birthday is like a new year to them. So first of all, start there. We get so caught up on, we get so caught up on New Year's, but then no one keeps their New Year's resolutions, right? You can make all these New Year's resolutions on January 1st. It's only the change of the calendar year. You can start a new year anytime you want. And, a, and your birthday is a great time to start a new, a new year, a new way, a new thing, a new you. And you, you don't have to be the old you. Uh, you can just become who you want to be. And if you want to use your birthday as a time to say, get in shape or do better at school or uh, start eating healthier or start thinking better, speaking better, use that time to do that, all right? The thing I'm trying, the point I'm trying to make is, we all have a new year, and today is Bella's birthday, and today is a new year for all of us because Bella is so special to us. We say, and it's her birthday's in spring, and it takes forever to get here, all those things. So we use Bella's birthday as a time for us all to reset and set some goals, right? So what are we talking about when we talk about setting goals? Well, Monday is May first. Um, Monday being May first may really get spring underway here in Philadelphia. Now, spring certainly does start in March 21st, which is great, I love it. But when the weather truly starts to break and when you really start to take part in spring activities, um, look, Cat uh, was over uh, in um, uh, with the moms yesterday planning the, the field day and the spring picnic, etc., for the school. Um, that's what we're talking about with spring. So May 1st really is, a night. April's beautiful too, don't get me wrong, it's a beautiful month. But when May hits, it's very full in, uh, swing is in full gear, including uh, pollen in the air and your allergies, all right? But my point is, all the nice little runs, you know, your 5Ks, all that stuff's gonna be in a May, May time frame, and we love it. Um, so here we are. What are we're going to be talking a lot about the Bird Brand Birthday Bash? We're going to talk about our goals. We're going to talk about our summer. We got a big summer happening, guys. Big summer happening. Uh, we're going to a basketball camp, St. Joe's basketball camp. We're going to do a bird basketball camp. All right. We're going to be uh, getting these girls geared up for the new school year because that's when you got to show up your skills, right? You spent all summer practicing. Okay, good. Okay, you went to a clinic or two, but now in November. Everybody wants to see what you have. Let's show them, right? I'm gonna get these girls ready for the school year, ready for basketball. And we're only gonna have a fourth grader here, so no worries, we're gonna be building our foundational skills in a second grader, right? So we're still working on foundational skills, but I'll tell you one thing, uh, my girl right here, Michaela's, uh, she's getting those layups down pat. And once uh, a little girl gets First of all, that's why it's so great. I'm so excited because I have girls playing basketball because the thing with girls playing basketball is this. If they learn the fundamentals of the game, they're gonna be great. And if they learn more skills, they're gonna be amazing. And see, with boys, it's different because you there's a lot of competition because most boys are playing basketball, right? Most girls are not playing basketball. So you take Michaela, she's tall, she's already athletic, and she's gonna get more athletic. I was telling her this morning about her footwork. She's gonna learn all that. And she's making layups, guys. And she's tall. So you take all of that, 
Now she can know how to make layups. Same thing I was telling her about those girls that were in the in the gym this year. They knew how to make shots. They were they were dominating. So now she's gonna come back next year and she's gonna know how to make shots. Watch the difference in the game for her. The game is gonna change for her. Once she knows how to make shots. So that's what we're gonna be working on this fall. I mean this summer into the fall. Learning, 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 just learning how to make shots. So once you are a fourth grader, fifth grader, sixth grader, take that age group, that four to six year, uh, four to sixth grade. Any girl that knows how to make shots is going to be a star, first of all. All right. So you know how to make layups, you know how to make in close. And then if you learn how to make jumpers, um, they're going to be writing stories about you in the paper. So start there um, if you're in sixth grade. Now, you got to keep getting better. Don't let this go to your head. I'm just talking about what it looks like from a basketball perspective. So you think about it like that. But anyway, enough about basketball. We're going to do the camp. She's doing great. That's the other thing. I'm just talking. I want her to start seeing ahead of what she can be looking forward to. But she's doing great. Look, she went the last game. Now, we had a gala to go to. We were in Atlantic City. But um, I saw some footage, and I heard all the reports. Listen, and I saw her make layups before. So listen, McKay they had 14 points total. Michaela had 10. And, and again, it's just off of her doing what she does. It's nothing special. She's just playing basketball and uh, making shots out there, guys. And guess what? You keep doing that enough, you're going to get confident in your ability to do that. Next thing you know, 30. She'll, she'll be able to go get 30. And then she'll be, the team will be winning. And that's the thing. And then by the time that the real uh, sport starts, which is fifth grade, guys, fifth grade's only next year. So that's the thing. That's the real sports. That's the real school sports. Fifth and sixth and seventh and eighth. It's like JV and varsity for high school, if you think about it like that. Boom, fifth grade, she can go in there. Listen, we are going to dominate in fifth grade. Um, they're going to need an answer. That's why I want to build her up, build her confidence, build her skills. You only build confidence through what, girls? Practice. That's it. That's it. You only can build confidence through practice and preparation. You cannot be confident if you haven't practiced. You, it's a fake confidence. You only can build confidence through preparation or practice. So that's what we're working on. Hey, uh, can I get a weather report, though? Um, today is, um, this afternoon, it's going to rain. And um, um, t this night... Um, tonight. Tonight, um, it's gonna um, rain really hard. So um, make sure you don't go. Like, make. I sure thought she was gonna break into a whole song. This night, we laugh. And um, <laughs> if you're going on a field trip and you have no school, you just finish. Um, What's college. the temperature, Bells? I'm getting there. Oh. Um, um, <laughs> you should um not go at night because. Today's gonna rain really hard, like, like, like the whole night. All night. And then um, today's weather is gonna be 57 degrees, oh, yeah. mostly in the afternoon, and um, I think 42 or 55 degrees, like in the morning. <laughs> All right, guys, we got a we got a budding uh, weather girl right here. All right, she's gonna be. Coming up, looking to tell the weather a little bit more. Uh, every day we're practicing. All right, girls, good work today. Let me tell you, you did a great job. All right, Thank doing. You. Oh, yeah. Mr. Ruddle. Mr. Ruddle. Mr. Ruddle. What's up? How you doing? Yeah, you? I'm all right. What's up? Your kids are kids are excited to see you in here. What's up, man? Hey, Mr. What's Ruddle. Up, man? <laughs> Oh yeah, I didn't see it. Oh, awesome! I can't. I'm gonna go look it up. Take care. I'll see you soon. Hey, you too. See you, Molly.
There's Mr. Dickman. Miss Gannon. Hey, Miss Gannon. How are you? <laughs> Great. Great. It's Friday. It's Friday. Hello. Happy Friday, Mr. Lee. I always hear some great stories about you uh, from the kids, by the way. You coming in, giving them candy and stuff. <laughs> yes, all that good stuff. That's, yes. Yes, yes. I love it. I love it. I love the stories. Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, she talked about that too. Good. Wait, no. I was just telling her about her athletic ability. Yeah. Bye -bye. yeah. Awesome. I love it. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Get your bag. You guys doing all right over here? Yes. You got the uh, bag? You got the bag? This is my pencil. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, Bella. Bella, let me get the bag, baby. Don't spill it here. Come on, Bella. Here you go, girl. Here's your bag. Yes, thank you so much. I am. Thank you. Have a good weekend. <laughs>